season two is about to come out, if you could describe it in three words, what would you say? Magical, amazing, and slightly dramatic. Season two is all about change, and it's all about growing up and the, the issues most people have to deal with and the kind of adventures we go on as we grow up. So we're getting older, we're facing more real life problems, and I think it's just going to be really fun to watch. It's comprised primarily of condensed arctic sludgy powder which, when combined with citric acid, produces something called quad nitrotoluene. Sound familiar? No. How about tri nitrotoluene? Oh, yeah, no. TNT. There's dynamite in Arctic sludgies. What is it like whenever the cameras turn off? Are you guys joking around? Are you studying your script? Is it more serious? What is it like? Well, in between takes, usually we have to go to school. But when we don't have time for school, we're totally goofing off. We're we're playing pranks on each other. One of the cool games that we've done last year and that we've transferred over is the clip game. The clip war has been going on forever. It's a never ending battle. And sometimes we leave them on for like rehearsals and stuff. And every now and then something will happen. It might end up in a take or something, but it just makes it all the better. And sometimes you write little funny messages like, haha, got you, or stuff like that. Do you tend to get clipped more or do you succeed at clipping? Drew's kind of a ninja, so he's clipped everybody at least once. And I've been clipped the most. I've, I've actually gotten clipped on the collar without knowing really? it before. Yeah, I don't know how it happened. I was looking this way and like, oh well. We're doing a prank war, so we're trying to come up with a bunch of different pranks. You know what happened? Chandler is a genius. She tried to fool me with Oreos, but she took the cream filling out and put ranch in. Oh. I, she didn't fool me. She didn't? she didn't get me. I was thinking mayonnaise because that like is thick. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's a really good idea. I tried. Uh, I tried putting Reese's pieces in a bowl and then putting uh, yellow and orange Skittles in with it, and it it worked. So that's a point for me. Who do you think is gonna win this war? Me. Yeah? <laughs> well, I, I hope. If you could bring any of the magic from the, the street you guys live on in the show into your real life, what would you bring over? All of the magical objects on the show have pros and cons. So I mean, I think it would be really cool to have a pencil that erases all of your bad memories. But at the same time, that wouldn't be good because you change who you are entirely. Having magic would be awesome, but I'm kind of happy the way things are. I think it's so cool that we're just always outside, always doing stuff together. Like We're never on our phones, we're never playing video games. That if everyone was like that and everyone was always outside playing and having fun, that it, it would be really cool. Ringetium. Yes. See? You're fine. Hey. You okay? You mean because of Ranger's ridiculous theory that my brain is over capacity? Yeah, I'm fine. What would be your greatest struggle that your characters face or you have in real life with growing up? Everything changes as you grow up. I feel like for myself personally, you want to hold on to the way things were, but you can't do that as you grow up because everything changes. Sort of liking someone, you know, and, and that sort of tricky situation. With and girls. Yeah, with girls. <laughs> girl girl probs. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that, that's always a tricky situation. They say the way to a man's heart is food. What have you learned is the way to a woman's heart? Oh, chocolate. <laughs> yeah, you're pro. If you could give an award to your co-stars, like the most something, what would you say? Drew, probably the most funny. He has me laughing on set every day. Drew would be the, the greatest prankster. I think Ashley is probably the craziest. She's always goofing off. Ashley would be the greatest Whovian. And for Sloan, the most down to earth. He is the sweetest. He's so nice and he gets along with everybody on set and he's just a joy to work with. Sloan's probably the nicest guy I've ever met. He's so nice. He's really cool. What motivates you to be so nice to everyone? Because, you know, uh, there's, there's no need to be mean to anyone. You know, always treat others how you'd want to be treated. If someone's never seen the show before, season one or season two, who do you think would like it? I think everybody would like it. Everyone would enjoy watching it because it's one of those shows that just everyone can relate to. So it's it's a good show for the whole family just to sit down and watch together. It's Ashley Betcher. Make sure to tune in to season two of Gordimer Gibbons' Life on Normal Street, only on Amazon Prime. I hope you enjoy. <laughs>